Meanwhile, the number of unemployed Filipinos continues to spike for two consecutive months. After being targeted by the El Nino phenomenon, the agriculture sector had the largest drop in employment as per Philippine Statistics Authority. Here's the report. The number of unemployed Filipinos and has businesses in the Philippines increased in April according to the Labor Force Survey by the Philippine Statistics Authority. The survey included 44,890 sample households during the 20-day period from April 8 to April 30, 2024 and recorded a rise in unemployment. From 2 million unemployed Filipinos in March, the number rose to 2.4 million jobless in April. The PSA noted that this increase occurred in the agriculture sector, which was slightly significant affected by the El Nino phenomenon in the country. National Statistician and Civil Registrar Undersecretary Claire Dennis Mapa explained that El Nino might have caused this as low production leads to workforce reduction. Be bad weather. Uh, about 100, yeah, about 113,000. But most of this, ano na, uh, nag, nag participate, no? But these are the the two uh, parang subgroups na positive pa rin. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila nag participate. Yung mga retired, 170, and then reason is that bad weather, 113,000. So yeah, uh, most probably because of the the heat. Thank you. Based on the agency's data, the agriculture and forestry sector experienced the largest employment decrease year-on-year. Year. In this sector, 818,000 Filipinos lost their jobs. The next sector, wholesale and retail trade repair of motor vehicles and motorcycle, saw 587,000 people lost their jobs. Meanwhile, the employment rate in the Philippines dropped from 96.1% to 96%. The number of underemployed people or those looking for more hours of work or jobs increased to 7.04 million in March from 5.39 million, meaning that the underemployment rate decreased from 11% to 14.6% on a monthly basis. The underemployment rate increased here as well, rising from 12.9% in April 2023. In spite of this, a rise in full-time employment, 6.1 million and million Middle skilled occupations, 1.3 million was reported by the National Economic and Development Authority or NEDA, indicating improved job quality. Kita nyo, dito rin tumaas yung increase in employment. No? Pero ganun palagi, kasi mataas yung increase natin dito sa subsector, uh, hindi na-absorb lahat as uh, full-time workers. This is Criza Lopez for Euro TV News.